Hello everyone, this is Francisco again. In this tutorial we're going to talk about the, the broad picture about the language design workflow in SAMA. So when you think about the specific piece of code that's written on a certain language, that the first thing that the computer needs to do to execute that code is to understand what it means unambiguously. So that's what the compilation are, the interpretation processes, which they differ, uh, are for. So it's to translate a high level, um, a high level code specification into something that's understandable by the machine. And um, so it's a process of anal analysis, and there are uh, many stages to that process such as the lexer, the parser, the type checker, and the code generation. Uh, so in SEMA, we also have those processes implemented. If you take, for instance, a statement in the default language in SEMA, what happens is when you evaluate this code is that there is a process that breaks down that string into its units, into its bits, uh, into a token list by the lexer that does lexical analysis. And uh, that token list is then organized and labeled uh, into a tree-like structure, which is called the abstract syntax tree, by uh, uh, the parser. Uh, which does syntactical analysis. And from that tree-like structure, there's a translation into a JavaScript code, high-performance JavaScript code um, with uh, Maximilian objects. So when a user is engaging in the language design workflow in SEMA, He's writing a grammar on a specific notation called BNF, or in this case, extended BNF, which stands for Bacchus-Nauer form notation. And that specification of a grammar will be compiled into a parser. And that parser is the component that val validates uh, piece of live code that's evaluated every time that you press command enter. So when that piece of code is validated, uh, there's an abstract syntax tree that's generated and then there's um, the language, the JavaScript DSP code that's generated from that uh, abstract syntax tree. And that code is then injected into the signal uh, uh, signal engine, which is running an audio thread on an audio worklet in real time um, on the browser. So this is the basics of our workflow in SEMA.